For thousands of years, Iceland's volcanoes were locked in a titanic battle with ice. But then 12,000 years ago, the giant ice sheets finally retreated. This would open a new chapter in Iceland's volcanic history as they were now free to wreak havoc. But what effect would this have on Iceland and its surroundings? One of the most dramatic effects can be found in the south central region of the island. This alien landscape is known as Larki. A row of strange craters and solidified lava flows that have bubbled up from a huge tear in the earth. A massive fissure eruption, it stretches for an astounding 16 miles across the landscape. Volcanologist Dr. Thor Thordeson is investigating Larky, the site of one of the greatest eruptions in recent history, one which would have devastating effects worldwide. The Larky fissures, which extend from here in the southwest, continue here through the landscape as a row of cones up here through Mount Larky, which was split into two during the eruption, and continue further to the northeast, all the way to the margins of the glaciers here. Eyewitness accounts accurately date the eruption to 1783. This was one of the most disastrous years in Icelandic history. Fallout from the eruption caused harvests all over the island to fail. 75% of the livestock died, plunging Iceland into a great famine which killed 10,000 people. But mysteriously, at the same time, the rest of the Northern Hemisphere reported freakishly cold weather. Averaging 2.3 degrees Fahrenheit below normal, the Northern Hemisphere froze over. The North Sea along the coast of Holland froze, so people skated between villages along the coast. There was ice on Mississippi down by New Orleans in that winter. For many years, it was thought the Larky eruption and these climatic events were unrelated. But advances in geology found it wasn't just a bizarre coincidence. Comparing eyewitness accounts with the geological remains, Dr. Thordeson has reconstructed what happened. He discovered that the eruption started with a bang on the morning of June 8, 1783. It sent rocks flying high into the air and ripped the earth open along a one-mile tear. But this was just the beginning. Three days later, a second eruption ripped open, then a third, fourth, fifth. In total, the earth unzipped along 10 vast tears in the crust, erupting lava continuously for over eight months. The mammoth amounts of lava that poured out of the ground here would have buried Manhattan to a depth of 830 feet. But how an eruption on this small remote island could cause climatic chaos thousands of miles away remained a mystery. The evidence that would link Larky with this worldwide catastrophe was locked inside these boulders. The story is in the rocks. This rock here is part of the material, the magma that came out during the eruption. These holes are called bubbles, and they form as the magma rises from deeper than the ground and approaches the surface, and it really starts to boil. The gas, which is dissolved in the magma at depth, goes into the bubbles. Then it escapes into the atmosphere. When this bubble rock erupted onto the surface, it would have poured gas out into the Icelandic atmosphere. Could this gas have caused climatic chaos across the globe? The identity of this gas can be found in the microscopic structure of the rock. If you look closely at this rock, you can see a lot of white specks. These little white specks are crystals who grow in the magma at depth. Sometimes these crystals 
as they're growing, they will encapsulate pristine magma and bring it up to the surface. Like time capsules, the white crystals contain untouched magma from deep in the earth, locked away since 1783. Dr. Thordeson has analyzed this magma and found it to contain poisonous sulfur dioxide. And because there was so much lava here, it would have released enormous amounts. A staggering 100 million tons of sulfur dioxide gas was pumped into the atmosphere. But how could gases released from Larky cause bitterly cold weather across the globe? The answer lay in accounts of a thick red fog reported over Iceland in June 1783. Within a few weeks, it had been blown over London and Paris, and by July, it had dispersed across the entire northern hemisphere. Scientists now know that the red fog was caused by the sulfur dioxide which rose high into the air. Mixing with water, it created a sulfuric acid haze. The haze blocked out the sun, and it sent temperatures plummeting. As a result, the northern hemisphere endured three bitterly cold winters, which brought spring floods, famine, and widespread poverty to Europe. Some historians have long believed that these climatic conditions triggered social and political unrest, which led to the French Revolution in 1789. But scientists now suspect Larky had ramifications even further afield. The cold temperatures in the north changed air currents in the south, causing dramatic climate changes. India was hit by a terrible drought. People say that more than half a million people died from the drought in India. Also, this change in atmospheric circulation caused a very cold summer in Japan. It was cold and wet. The rice harvest failed. And the result was the greatest famine in Japanese history. It is estimated that Larky killed over two million people worldwide and was one of the most devastating volcanic eruptions in the history of mankind. The evidence has proven that Iceland's recent volcanic history has had a devastating effect on the island and the rest of the world. Enormous lava fields reveal that Larky was a gigantic eruption. Bubbles in the rock indicate that huge volumes of gas were released from Larky. The white crystals reveal that this gas was poisonous sulfur dioxide. Evidence that Iceland's volcanoes caused climatic mayhem across the globe. 